Getty Jeremy Corbyn has been heavily criticized for not fully backing Theresa May's stance. A scathing attack comes from Salisbury and South Wiltshire MP John Glenn, whose constituency was the scene of the attack on former spy Sergei Cripple and his daughter Julia, who were found slumped on a bench in Salisbury on March 4. The MP accused the Labour leader of trying to absolve the Kremlin of responsibility and suggested many in his own party feel he is letting the country down, Mr. Glenn said, we must not lose sight of the fact. That is the first time a nerve agent has been used offensively like this on European soil since the Second World War. It's not something we can just explain away, what I find slightly inexplicable when I hear from the leader of the opposition, he seems to think that talking about due process that he will satisfy himself that somehow Russia can be absolved of responsibility, any words or explanation that seeks to absolve them of responsibility, we are not going to have a trial in the Old Bailey on this one. The leader of the opposition is being used by the Kremlin and many in his own party feel. He is letting the country down, at the time when my constituents are in hospital and gravely ill, one of them a very brave police officer, and I acknowledge Jeremy Corbyn's words of concern for his welfare and the emergency services, what he needs to be more focused on is the fact that Russia have a significant case to answer in our security services advice to ministers and to the National Security Council cannot be ignored or equated with weapons of mass destruction advice in a previous era, get a police officers in protective suits. Work near the scene of the poisoning the latest criticism comes after Mr. Corbyn accused the Prime Minister of Rushing way ahead of the evidence, for pointing the finger at Russia over the Salisbury nerve agent attack, the Labour leader had demanded the government take a calm, measured approach over fears we could drift into a new Cold War with Russia, while continuing to ignore Russia President Vladimir Putin's culpability, he had stressed he totally condemns the attack and said the evidence points towards Russia being responsible, but added the possibility of the Nerve agent attack was carried out by Russian-linked gangsters could not be excluded. Mr. Corbyn has faced heavy criticism this week from several of his own MPs over his failure to support Mrs. May's decision on Wednesday to expel 23 Russian diplomats. Shadow Defense Secretary Nia Griffith has publicly backed Mrs. May's decision, saying it would have been easier for us if the Labour leader made it clear he supported the move. An 18 Labour MPs have signed a motion declaring they, unequivocally, believe Russia was behind the attack. Mr. Corbyn's mealy-mouthed response to Russia's aggression was also savaged by the outraged father-in-law of hero policeman Nick Bailey, the detective first on the scene of the attack.